everyone, welcome to another Ohm Science video. Today we're going to talk about a mysterious weed that everyone knows about, but doesn't know some of its key attributes. Um, I mean, you've probably seen it almost every day in the summer, but you haven't known it's edible, and that it's actually helpful for your body. You've probably got annoyed because it's in your yard, and it, you know, it's kind of annoying, because everyone thinks of it as a weed. Today... We're going to be talking about the dandelion. <laughs> so, actually, yeah, the dandelion is completely edible. Um, in my opinion, my, my favorite part is the uh, leaves, which, here, let me see if I can't find some. I normally like arrowhead shape. I normally arrowhead shape. Um, they're, they're normally ringed with little spiky things um yeah and they're completely edible um so what what i'm gonna do for you guys since entire the entirety of the dandelion is edible um i have taken out the uh roots out of the ground and i've even cleaned them off so let's go over there and go check that out. Get ready. Yeah, here we go. How? Where do you guys keep on finding them? So yeah. Um, Here's one of the better ones with the longer roots. So Mariah. what the roots are is just almost like Mariah, strip bark. I want to say. Um, and feeling, um, and it branches off to each little section, which normally holds about one flower each section. Um, like I said, everything, part of it is edible. Uh, what a lot of people do is they'll, after they clean them off, they'll cut off the roots and they'll, um, boil them and make tea. Um, it's quite good. We've actually had it recently. You can buy dandelion greens at um, a lot of local supermarkets. Um, and like I said, since you can find them everywhere, it's a lot like... That's just one yard full of dandelions. Well, my assistant is currently pulling is attempting to pull out some roots. Um, we definitely find it a lot easier when they're a bit older and a bit thicker. Um, it's definitely a lot easier. The younger ones, you have a lot more trouble, but yeah. They don't have much roots. Yeah. And it's very hard to pull them out. You, you also want to find nice big ones like these right here because since their stems are thicker and they'll have more leaves so it'll be um and normally the roots are like that one that we showed you earlier where it's kind of just like one single um you know root with little tiny roots coming off yeah. now my sister is also pulling up a bunch of grass um we also found that the best way to get a dandelion out of the ground is actually to um, grab the whole plant. Grab the whole plant, but before you do that, I would very much suggest you grab like a hammer or something like that, a small hammer. Here, let me go grab one right here. Here, oh, I got it. Grab a small hammer like this, um, just and then just kind of rake it across the ground. Like here, let me show you. A lot of flipping. Kind of just, you know, let me find a good spot. Like, right here. That's what we did before. But Basi it did work as well. Basically, just, you know, <coughs> aim for right at the heart. <coughs> and then you can. Hey, look, guys. You can normally get here's a dainty uh, lion, some roots. Well, there we go. Here's a small one. Um, yeah, like they all vary in size. Like I said, you want to get some of the older ones. 
And them. what I would suggest is don't eat them unless you absolutely know that they are safe and that you haven't, you know, tried to kill them off and pesticides because yeah. those chemicals so may um, act, they may um, not be safe for human ingestion. So that makes the um, dandelions inedible. But um, when you're, what I would suggest is when you're first getting your dandelions, as soon as you pull them out of the ground, take a hose, any size, doesn't really matter. Uh, put your thumb over the nozzle to make it come out a bit faster, or your finger or whatever, doesn't really matter. And just, you know, spray, spray it. And get rid of all the, all the dirt. And that's just about it. Now, like I said, dandelions are completely edible. Um, you can eat the flower. Flower has the most taste, then the scent, stems, and then the leaves. Now, to be honest, I haven't actually tried to eat the roots yet. I didn't even know they were edible until quite recently. Um, but I have eaten regular dandelion leaves and such. Um, also, but what I do know is that um, it helps with stomach and kidney problems, I believe. Um, it's quite helpful. And since they're all around, you can make the tea. And they're great in salads. Um, now it's all up to you to just try it. And one other thing that you may not actually know is edible at all, but I bet you you have it right around you. Now we live in um, on the East Coast in New Jersey uh, by Pennsylvania, so we may have stuff that you don't, but I'm pretty sure you guys have plantains. They're quite easy to find. They have spoon-shaped leaves. Later in the year, they're gonna, later during the summer, they're gonna get much, much bigger, more like this. Um, they are completely edible. They're actually quite good. I quite like them. Also great to have on your salads. Now these, I know much more about. Um, when you crush them, they can help with stings, burns, and um, lots of other stuff. Um, let's see, stings, burns. As a tea, what they can also help with is they can help with I um, irritable bowel syndrome, any any uh, stomach related in um, indigestion, any stomach related ailment it can help any um swelling itchiness anything like that uh crushed can help and like i said they're quite good on just salads um they definitely have a bit of an earthy flavor but i mean it's definitely good like you could yeah um well Thank you guys for watching this home science video. Please uh, leave a like, subscribe. Um, if we can hit, let's see, um, 200, uh, let's do 500 likes. We'll do more videos like this. Um, please subscribe, hit the bell notification so you'll be the first to know when our next videos are out. Um, um, Come back to home science, where we make science fun. If we can get this video to reach 100 likes, we'll do much more videos like this much more often. Um, please remember to subscribe, like, and leave your comment below for other videos you'd like us to do. Um, also, don't forget to give my sister more ideas. <laughs> Um, we'll definitely stay home science. See you guys.